Welcome to the MindView 5 Quick Start video. This video is intended to cover the basic fundamentals of MindView, teaching you how to create a mind map, how to make text notes, how to attach files, how to customize your mind map, and how to export the mind map to Microsoft Office. For more advanced tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out the MindView 5 Upgrade Features page. To begin using MindView, select the File button, select the New option, and choose from one of the six interchangeable map style views, such as Mind Map, Top Down, Left Right, Timeline, Outline, or Gantt. For this example, we'll begin in the basic Mind Map view. The central idea is known as the root. It's called the root because that's where all the branches are going to be attached. Across the top of the interface, you can see the Microsoft Office style ribbon, with the Home tab having the most frequently used tools and options used in MindView. The Insert tab is specific to inserting multimedia content to the branches, such as text notes, pictures, file attachments, or hyperlinks. The Review tab stores the review features such as spell check, document statistics, the new narrate feature, managing sources or adding citations, and even doing a find or replace. Under the Share tab, you can locate the online workspace integration as well as the integration with Microsoft SharePoint. The View tab is specific to viewing the mind map and its detail levels with a quick way to change between the views, zooms, focus modes and detail levels, filters, the new map nav feature, showing and hiding branch data, or even accessing the new legends. The design tab is where you're going to change the look and feel of the mind map as a whole, which we will cover later in this tutorial. And the format tab is where you will optimize or customize a specific branch based on its color, root shape, or font style. Across the right side of the screen are the Task Timeline Info tab, which associates all of the task management features, the Multimedia Catalog, which stores all of the free multimedia images, and the Calculation Module, which shows the advanced calculation features available in MindView. For this example, we're going to locate under the Home tab and start creating our initial mind map. To begin building the map, select the branch icon from the ribbon and create your first idea. If I continue to left click branch, I will create new ideas around the root in a clockwise manner. If I'd like to create a sub branch, I select the sub branch icon. If I then choose the branch icon, it will duplicate that level. Sub branch, branch, sub branch, branch. Now as I hover the icons, you can see a shortcut key, Enter, as well as a shortcut key, Insert. These are keyboard shortcuts to quickly build the map, where if I select the Insert key, a sub-branch is created, Enter then duplicates that level, Insert, Enter, Insert, Enter. I also have the opportunity to right-click on a branch and choose to Insert Branch Content utilizing the right-click menu. A good rule of thumb in MindView, when in doubt, right-click on a branch or right-click on the white space and you will get the ability to utilize some of the advanced functions in MindView. Once you have created some initial branches, you can start reorganizing the content, which is done by left-clicking, dragging, and dropping it to a new branch location. Sub-branches can be changed to main branches, and main branches can be converted into sub-branches. You can also use standard Microsoft Office keyboard shortcuts if you have duplicate information by left-clicking and dragging a marquee around a specific number of branches. I can utilize Copy or Control-C, go to the new branch location, and simply choose Paste or Control-V. This can be done in one MindView document or easily used to merge several MindView files together. MindView users also have the option of accessing some of the free templates that come with MindView. 
by selecting the File button, I can choose New and select New from Template. The Template dialog allows you to locate the various templates that have been preloaded with MindView, separated in different folders and structures. There are several business templates, education templates, as well as personal. I can also create my own folders and store my own custom templates under the My Templates section, great for presentations or for creating company templates. For this example, we're going to access and locate the Agenda template to work further on this tutorial. I choose the template, I select Open, and it launches the template. As you can see, MindView has populated the Agenda template with several main branches, sub-branches, and even some sub-sub-branches. If I select the Home tab, a built-in feature with MindView is called the Branch Hierarchy, a very important concept to grasp when working with MindView. The Branch Hierarchy shows the radial order of branches, starting at the 1 o'clock point, going clockwise around the map. This is extremely important when you choose to export this to Microsoft Office, where this branch order will be converted into the section order of a Microsoft Word document, slide order of a PowerPoint slideshow, or even the row order of an Excel spreadsheet. As I rearrange branches, the numbering scheme is also updated. There's no question that MindView is an excellent outlining program as you can see the various topics that need to be discussed. MindView also allows you to start drilling down further on these branches or topics and create some additional supporting documentation. In this case, we're going to choose to insert a text note directly on the welcome branch. To insert a text note, I select the desired branch and either from the Home or the Insert tab, I'm going to choose to select text note. By left clicking the text note editor, MindView launches the text note editor dialog and allows me to access the edit ribbon. The edit ribbon is very similar to Microsoft Word with font style and formatting, paragraph settings and bullet point lists, inserting pictures or hyperlinks, accessing citations, and even creating tables. For this example, we're going to create the welcome message that will be used in the agenda. I simply left-click the text note editor and type my message. Once my message has been typed, I can then deselect off the text note editor. And as you can see, a paperclip icon has been attached to the welcome branch. If I have the text note editor window open, it will automatically display the first text note. If it happens to be closed, I can simply zoom in on the branch, hover the paperclip icon, left-click to execute the pop-up. In this case, it will relaunch the text note editor for further editing or to view the text note information. If I have a secondary note, MindView will always create a simplified drop-down list, allowing me to access the object or note I'd like to execute. If at any point in time I need to relocate an attached object, I can simply left-click and drag it to a new branch. And if I need to ever delete a branch attachment, I can simply hover, right-click on the object, and choose Delete. MindView is also an extremely powerful document management system, where I can choose to attach any file type to a branch. For this example, we're going to attach a few items to the individual branches. If I left-click the Minutes from Last Meeting branch, I can navigate to the Home or Insert tab, and left-click the attachment icon. The attachment icon allows me to browse on my computer or shared drive to locate a specific document type. In this case, I'm going to attach the minutes from the meeting taken on June 2012. I left-click the icon or the PDF. I simply choose Open, and the attachment has been created. By hovering the paperclip icon, I can choose to left-click and execute the attached document. If we'd like to proceed further, we have the financial branch, and maybe we'd like to attach an Excel spreadsheet. I left-click the desired branch, navigate back to the Home or Insert tab, choose the attachment icon, and browse on my computer for the file I'd like to attach, in this case, the Revenue Projections Excel spreadsheet. I left-click, choose the Open icon. The branch attachment has been created, 
and I could simply choose to left click and execute that link from the mind map. As you can see, it's quite simple to add supporting documentation to the map. We'd now like to move into customizing the map, and I'm going to choose Fit All, or F4 on my keyboard, to snap the map back to the middle of the screen. If I happen to have one of the side panels open, such as the multimedia catalog, and if I choose Fit All or F4, MindView will always snap the mind map to the given free space. To customize this mind map, we're going to start by adding a few pictures. Pictures are a great way to help reinforce topics and ensure that audience members are understanding the different areas of your map. The multimedia catalog is packed with over 2,000 royalty-free images, separated to individual subject matter, or you can use the search function to search for any specific item you'd like. In this case, we'll search for meeting. I find the image I'd like, I hover it to get a pop-up, I left-click, drag, and drop it on the screen to get a branch picture. If I'd like to move forward with any additional images, I can simply choose the image I'd like, left-click, drag, and drop it onto the branch. Users may also want to customize the individual branches themselves, changing colors, changing font styles, and you can change the majority of the detail under the Design tab. The Design tab will affect the map as a whole. I could switch between different layouts. I could have the ability to switch between different styles of the map itself. And I could also choose to change branch color. Under the Design tab, it will affect the map as a whole, so all first-level branches and the root will then change. If I'd like to change a specific branch or group of branches, I left-click the desired branch, and I then access the Format tab. The format will only change the selected branch details, changing font style or color, individual color schemes, or further the fill color, outline, or boundary. For this example, we will change each main branch to have its own unique color. As you can see, the various colors and the various information on the map allows my audience to follow along more clearly with the design. Once you've completed your formatting and your attaching of content, it's now time to export the mind map. As we discussed earlier, the logical linear order of the map, in this view it is going clockwise, where in some of the other style views, such as the top, down, or left, right, that numbering scheme will then go top, down, and accordingly out to the next level of branches. This order is what drives the exports to programs such as Microsoft Word where I choose the File button, simply choose Export, choose Microsoft Word, and for this example, we'll just do the quick Word export. As you can see, MindView has converted the organic mind map into a linear agenda in Microsoft Word. The table of contents has been built, with the corresponding branches converted into sections and the respective page numbers listed. As I scroll through the document, you now see the original branch picture that we included, the opening remarks heading, the additional image, and the text note that we added, which in this case was the welcome message. We have the link to the PDF, which can be launched from the Word document, and we also have the Excel spreadsheet, which has been embedded into the Word document. So as I email this document to my colleagues and coworkers, they have access to click on the Word document itself to launch the associated attachments.